The government affordable housing project unit in WA has been abandoned 10 years after sword cutting. The project, which is still at the foundation level, is overtaken by weeds. This is a report by Yakubu Abdul Gaffer. In July 2007, Hakman Owusu-Ajiman, then Minister of Water Resources, Works and Housing, cut the sword for the construction of the WA Affordable Housing Unit project. Unfortunately, the project has been abandoned due to lack of payment of the contractors. Housing blocks have been left in the bush over the years. Some hunters have attempted destroying the walls in search of bush meat. Some contractors have declined speaking to TV3 but said they stopped the work as a result of government not providing the needed funds to continue with the project. The Architectural and Engineering Services Limited, who were their consultants, have refused to comment, saying the housing project was handed over to the Social Security and National Insurance Trust Net in 2013. All right, so that's how the picture looks like. It's either it's been abandoned, uncompleted, or it's been completed, but because of the absence of basic amenities, people cannot live in these houses. And this has been constructed with state funds over the period gone by. The nation's housing needs is in short supply of about 1.7 million units. That's the housing deficit assistance. It is anticipated to rise to about 2 million by 2018. That's next year. So government will, according to the information that we have, as you see on your screens right now, government would have to construct 190,000 190, to 200,000 units annually for the next 10 years to bring the gap or bridge the gap as we speak. So this is estimated to cost about $3.4 billion every year. And that is how die the picture really looks like if we would have to bridge that housing gap as we speak at the moment. So from what we gather, government through the Brazilian construction firm, uh, co that's Constru Constructor uh, OAS Limited, is putting up 11,000 units flats at the cost of 200 million US dollars, beginning with the first phase of 1,500 to be completed in the uh, Saglemi Township at Pram Pram. This was in uh, the Pexual administration having this actually done. The nation's housing needs now, as we speak at the moment, is down to that 1.7 million units, as you see on your screens right now. The various governments gone by, and indeed, the affordable housing was started in the Exual Kofu administration and uh, Eventually, when the NDC won in 2009, they neglected that particular affordable housing. Some of, of it was not continued, and there was a question as to why that was the case. If you recall, the STX uh, for an amount of 1,525,000, uh, that's 1,525,443,468 for this construction of 30,000 units of houses for the security services in Ghana. We all know exactly how this XTX deal ended with we being ditched in the process. HFC Bank and this also having parties intend to develop 200,000 housing units in the 10 cities in Ghana over the five year period. This was never realized. This project was never realized, and we know how this project ended. Construction works on the 1,640 low-cost housing units being undertaken by the government at Pong, Kumasi, and Boteman in the Greater Accra region, also funded at the cost of over $300 million. This project is yet to be completed. This project as well is yet to be completed and it clearly tells you and brings to question the level of commitment to deal with this whole housing deficit as we have it. According to the directive principles of state policy in the 1992 Constitutional Republic of Ghana, every project started by the previous administration is supposed to be continued by the successive government if there is a change of government. But this particular clause in the Constitution has been blatantly disregarded by the various governments gone by when it comes to continuing housing projects come in and continue their own project leaving the projects that were started by actual administrations to rot when it was used by the state's funds the people's money to construct these uh, housing units some of them have been left to rot others have been completed people cannot afford it 29 million dollars we're told 
and it's supposed to be affordable. It's not affordable. It doesn't, it doesn't fit that affordable bracket. And you're right. I mean, it's the state funds used, and it's either not completed or it's abandoned in general. Just the attitude of continuity within governance. Absolutely. It's, it's and this realized. is a constitutional demand. According to the Director of Principal State Policy, we Absolutely. wait to see what is going to be different this time around going forward in Very terms well. of continuing projects that have not been completed.